hello everyone this is mp so this is our fourth tutorial for vb scripting series so in this series i mean in this video we are gonna discuss about the conditional statements so the conditional statements are very plays a very important role when you are scripting in, in any uh, testing tool like uft qtp and any language conditional statements are very plays a very important role so we're gonna learn today how we can use the conditional statement so let's get started so here i define two variables one is number and one is string so let's put uh, one value in the number which is like uh, uh, 50 and then we can uh, do the if if uh, now we have to compare okay we can compare with any values anyways so if 50 is less than 100 so this is the operator which we are using for comparing then message box Fifty value is is less. Fifty is less than hundred. Else, we can say the message box value is greater and then we will end our loop so these things are very important in the loop if then else and end if okay so we can just simply save it and run it value is less because 50 is less than and similarly we can say if it's a 50 is a greater than then this we're gonna uh, display this the value is greater the value is greater and if we have to match with equals to 50 equals to 100 we will simply say if it's matching then goes into value is less value is not matching and if it's matching value is matching so let's run that Okay, so it says value is matching. Oh, <laughs> I did the wrong. Value is matching or value is not matching. Come on. Okay, value is not matching. So if it's 50 equals to 50, then it means value is matching all right so here we can also use two condition in a one statement so suppose that if like 50 equals to 50 and a value of num number is less than 100 only then it should say fall into this condition so right now for this one it is it is going to be fall in this condition because it satisfied both conditions so if we will increase the value like 500 then it will goes into the other condition so in a one statement you can check like two condition together so in a and and operator we can it will use it like you have to satisfy both condition or we can also use or so in this way this will if one statement is satisfied then it will goes into this loop okay so let's run this so it is goes into this loop so this way we will use this the conditional statement in a one one statement so here we can also uh, so right now what is happening like if it's uh, making the decision if 
this is not happening then it automatically goes here into this clause but here we can also check else if so then it will check this condition as well all right so suppose that if number is number is greater than 100 then then we will say okay let's not change the text just use it so in this condition it will check this condition and this condition as well previously it was not checking this condition because we didn't give any condition we were saying like okay if this is not happening then goes into else and print out or shows the message so let's double click uh, what happened Mm, expected end <clears throat> oh guys here we have to be careful now we have to specify two and if okay so now here when we run this this will give you value is not matching because it is coming into this now because the 500 is greater than 100 okay so now if you change here 10 then it is value is matching so it is going into this loop so this is pretty much it for the for the if else statements let's move to the switch statements so now we have to define a switch which also got a select case select case where we gonna put that case on number okay so it could be if it could be your string or it could be also your uh, number any numeric number or integers so what we gonna say here if like uh, number is 10 then just print a message that I am number 10 I am number 10 so similarly we gonna make another cases we are gonna put 11 12 13 14 and here we will also change the messages 12 13 14 okay and then at the end you have to end the loop so what we gonna do for the better visibility we will just shift it a little bit okay so now let's run this see what it will do it will not do anything because we didn't assign any value to the number okay so let's pass number equals to 11 save it run it I am number 11 so if I say number 12 so it will say number 12 so based on the value it is going to make its decision so under case 10 if you want to write a piece of code okay if this condition is true then just go for it if this condition is too true then go for it if this condition is true then go for it so these select cases or switch statements are very very important in the in the c-sharp it called switch but here it called select so they are very useful when you are doing uh, write the code in the uft so you will use these kind of uh, cases a lot there are a lot of scenario where you need these kind of conditional statement and it is it is very helpful so all right guys so this is pretty much it is for this video so let's go back to the next video 
and uh, <clears throat> there i will show you some uh, looping how the looping work for loop do while loops and all that so let's let's move it all right guys see you in the next video bye bye